Let's solve these two problems of finding the dollar amount of each discount and the resulting discounted price. Here's an example of how to solve a problem like this. If the discount is 25% off $48, we can find the amount that's actually being discounted, the amount that's being taken off, by doing multiplication, 25%, the discount rate, times 48, the original cost. And if you have a calculator with a percent key, you can actually just punch this into the calculator, although you have to put the percent last. So if you use a calculator, you'll want to type 48 times 25 and then hit that percent key and you'll get the correct answer of $12. If your calculator doesn't have a percent key, no big deal, just rewrite the percent as a decimal and do the multiplication. To write a percent as a decimal, just move the decimal point to the left two places. In 25%, we don't see a decimal point because it's not necessary to write one, but if we did write one, it would be right there after the five. So to turn 25% into a decimal, we move that decimal point to the left two places. That's because percent means per 100. So we're basically dividing by 100 to write the percent as a decimal. When we move that decimal point to the left two places, we get this decimal, 0 0.25. That's 25% as a decimal. And then you can just punch that into a calculator, 0.25 times 48, and again, you're going to get 12. So that's how to find the discount amount. Take the discount rate and multiply by the original price. In this case, the discount amount was $12. So then the question is, what is the discount price? Well, take the original price, $48, and subtract the amount being discounted. If $12 are being discounted, then the discount price is $36. So that's just taking the original price and subtracting that discount amount. All right, let's try these steps to solve these two problems. For problem one, the discount is 12% off $90. To calculate the discount amount, we need to do multiplication, 12% times 90 or 0.12 times 90 if we write it as a decimal. Again, if you're using a calculator with a percent key, you're gonna have to put the percent last and do 90 times 12%. If you're using a decimal, 0.12, then the order doesn't matter. And remember where that 0.12 comes from. We take the invisible decimal point in that percent and we move it to the left two places. It's like dividing by 100, and that tells us what the percent is as a decimal. Either way, you'll find the correct discount amount is $10.80. You may just see this on your calculator as 10.8, but we write it as 10.80 just because this is how currency is typically written. We're not thinking about 0.8 as 8 tenths of a dollar. We're thinking about it as 80 cents, so we write the zero there. Then remember, to calculate the discount price, just take the original price and subtract the discount amount we just found. So $90, the original price, minus the amount of the discount, which is $10.80. Doing this subtraction, we find that the discount price is $79.20. Finally, let's finish with this second example. The discount is 30% off $106.90. We'll begin by calculating the discount amount, multiplying the discount rate by the original price. So that's 30% times 106.90, which if you put in a calculator, remember you'll want to put the percent last, or if we use decimals, we could do it as 0.3, that's 30% as a decimal, 0.3 times 106.9. Either way, we find the discount amount is $32.07. From here, it's straightforward to find the discount price. Just take the original price, $106.90, and subtract that discount amount, $32.07. If we do that, we find the discount price is $74.83. So that's how to find the amount of a discount and the resulting discounted sale price. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Algebra 1 course and Algebra 1 exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about. Stressed out, honey, I've been stressed out lately. Don't know what's what, don't know what I'm stressed about. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about.